Welcome to our channel. Angelina Jolie loses legal bid to throw out ex-husband Brad Pitt's claim. She sold $64 million stake in Moravel Vineyard to Russian oligarch without his agreement. Brad Pitt has been handed the latest victory in the battle to control the French vineyard he owned with ex-wife Angelina Jolie in the latest twist in the so-called War of the Roses. The Chateau Miravel estate, which produces an award-winning sparkling rosé, is at the center of a long-running court battle between the pair. Jolie attempted to overturn a preliminary ruling at the Illa Superior Court, which allowed her ex-husband's claims that she sold her stake in their stunning vineyard to Russian oligarch Yuri Scheffler without his agreement in 2021. But in another win for the Fight Club star, the court rejected the allegations that his suit was frivolous, malicious, and part of a problematic pattern. It now means that Pitt's legal team has the green light to take the court battle to trial, in which the A-lister is suing Jolay for breaching an agreement that they would give each other first refusal. Court minutes seen by DailyMail.com show that the Hollywood star was given the go-ahead on March 8 to amend one overruled claim relating to breaching an implied covenant of fair dealing and good faith. Judge Leah Martin rejected Jolay's attorney's attempts to toss out the lawsuit for breaching an implied contract in quasi-contract, which is the latest blow for Jolie and Scheffler. Last month, the mail revealed that Stoli had been stripped of some shares by a court in Luxembourg, making Pitt the majority shareholder. The battle over Chateau Moravel's future has so far been waged in courtrooms in France, Luxembourg, and Los Angeles. Pitt was shocked when his ex-wife sold her half of their stunning Chateau Moravel estate without his agreement to Russian billionaire Yuri Scheffler in 2021. After their acrimonious separation in 2016, Jolie sold her stake in the business to Yuri Scheffler's Stoli Group. Pitt claimed she had breached an agreement that they would give each other first refusal. Financial papers seen by DailyMail.com in February revealed that the ultimate owner of the shares is a shadowy trust on the Isle of Jersey, controlled by a company of which Scheffler is not a shareholder. The bewildering business arrangements make it impossible to know who is pulling the strings, but friends of Hollywood star Pitt say he is determined to get to the bottom of it. A source close to the actor said, Brad wants Jersey to start providing answers. He should have the right to know who has bought into his business. He has put his heart and soul into Chateau Maravel and feels the rug has been pulled out from under him. He does not know for sure who he is actually in business with. In a previous filing, Pitt claimed that Scheffler tried to bully and threaten him with smears, arguing the Russian tried to browbeat him into submission by issuing a press release announcing their partnership the day after Jolay's deal went through. Scheffler then demanded that the pair meet for talks, after personally insisting that the release emphasized that they were partners with Pitt, despite the A-lister only learning of the deal through the announcement. The filings are part of the Oscar winner's bid to undo the $64 million sale by Angelina Jolie of her share in the Chateau Moravel estate to Scheffler. He says the 2021 deal was in breach of Jolie's earlier promise to offer him first refusal if she ever sold up. Scheffler is accused of reaching out to Jolie's divorce lawyers following reports of a heated custody dispute in 2021. Pitt's team also say that representatives for Stoli, the international beverage conglomerate owned by Scheffler, made as unsolicited bid for Miraval following news of the couple's split. Scheffler insists the American courts have no jurisdiction to hear a full trial on the matter. But the momentum in the legal battle appears to be with Pitt, after a court in Luxembourg stripped Scheffler of 10% of his shares effectively making Pitt the majority shareholder once again. His legal team secured the victory by arguing that the shares were given in 2013 with the understanding that Jolie would not sell them on. Judge Carol Kirshen ruled it was necessary to end the blockage of decision and save the business. A merits hearing in around two years is likely to decide that Pitt regain full control of the shares, 
which were transferred to Jolie's company for one euro. A source close to the actor previously said the ruling leaves Scheffler with virtually no say in the multi-million pound business in Provence. Pitt and Jolie bought the 1,300-acre Muraville estate in 2008 as 60 to 40 partners, with Pitt the majority shareholder.